Innovation's always been about surprises. Well, the game's not much fun without that. But sometimes you can have too many surprises, and when they come all at once, they can knock you flat. It's worst when they come at you from different directions, and then seem to land all at once. Your carefully planned innovation systems start to buckle with the force of their punch. There's the ones that sneak up on you unawares, and the ones that jump out in plain sight. The ones you see coming from over the horizon, but you think, I'm okay, I'll just sit tight. If we can just keep our heads down somehow, muddle through, then we'll get back to what's normal and nice. So let that dust settle, relax in our armchairs. After all, lightning never strikes twice. Which is fine until the next time those alarm bells start ringing and the panic station buttons getting pressed. It's then we get to wishing we'd done some more preparation, some way to help avoid the stress. So how can we innovate out of a crisis? Can we prepare ourselves for the next wave? What kind of lessons could we carry forward? How can we learn to behave? We need imagination. We need collaboration. Knowledge integration. Mobilize what people know. Focused inspiration. Improvisation. Lots of exploration to get some innovation to go. Now if we want to stay alive, we've got to learn to duck and dive. There's lots of things we should try to do. Loosen up our minds, leave certainty behind. Being agile is what's going to pull us through. We need imagination. We need collaboration. Knowledge integration. Mobilize what people know. Focused inspiration, improvisation, lots of exploration. We gotta get some innovation to go. Learn to work with what we're given, frugal innovation. Sometimes it's the case that less is more. Rapid prototyping, probe and learn's the right thing. There's lots of different roads we can explore. We need imagination. We need collaboration, knowledge integration, mobilize what people know, focused inspiration, improvisation, lots of exploration to get some innovation to go. Now if we listen to the crowd, broadcast the problem loud, listen to the answers coming back. Get them looking at that problem from their different perspectives. We might just find the answer we lack. We need imagination. We need collaboration. Knowledge integration. Mobilize what people know. Focused inspiration. Improvisation. Lots of exploration. To get some innovation to go. Well, we need recombination, reconfiguration, reframing everything we know. Re-evaluation of our final destination. Pivoting's the way to go. So next time a crisis hits you and you wonder, what can we do? Here's some innovation thoughts to bear in mind. Use your creativity. Build a capability. Develop routines for the non-routine. It's got to be worth trying. We need imagination, we need collaboration, knowledge integration, mobilize what people know, focused inspiration, improvisation, lots of exploration to get some innovation to go. We need imagination, we need collaboration. Knowledge integration, mobilize what people know. Focused inspiration, improvisation, lots of exploration to get some innovation to go.